Kay, you're very welcome back to the programme. Joined on it now by Kim McMenamum, spokesperson for Stop 5G Donegal. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Greg. How are you? Thank you very much for taking the call, Kim. Now, we have spoken before about concerns over a mast at the Garda station in Boncrana. Um, yeah. And it's due to go live today, is that right? Or is it a protest today? Protest is against the switching on, which is due to happen today, yes. We right. Put that good authority that has been switched on today. And, and is it is it definitely a 5G antenna? Because this would be the first of its uh, type uh, in, in this part of the world anyway. It's probably going to be an upgraded 4G LTE version. At which, the moment, OK. Which is the precursor for 5G. So, that, look, all they've got to do is upgrade an antenna to 5G. Mm. So, whether they say it's 5G or it's not 5G, it doesn't matter. All the Gs are harmful. Anything going through the air, any radiation is harmful. So right. Now, there's a bit of wind, so if you can possibly turn your back to it, I appreciate that, Kim. How many have you turned out so far? What's the reaction been like to this call to action, Kim? We had a good crowd this morning at 8 o'clock. You wouldn't believe it. Yeah, there was about maybe 15, 16, up to 20 people, yeah. And people were coming and going as well, you know, so we didn't. Ex we only expected half a dozen people, honestly. Yeah, so people will turn up before the school run or, or they might yeah. turn up now once they drop them off, that kind of thing. Yeah, there's people coming and going all the time. So, yeah, we've got a good wee crowd there, you know, so it's... Uh, Quite, I'm uh, quite happy with the turnout, to be honest. Now, with no disrespect to this campaign, Kim, it doesn't seem to be... Like, I don't recall hearing, uh, like, for instance, have any local councillors turned up? Do any... Uh, has, has any reps from the, the Guard of Representative Association, for example, joined to share your concern? In other words, who in authority, if anyone, is sort of standing with you on this? Well, at the moment, we have uh, Niamh Kennedy, uh, Donegal County Councillor, who we've spoken with, and she wants to organise a workshop with uh, Donegal County Council because they're quite concerned now. Mm. They might not have come out yet. It's early days yet. You know, there's, it's all happening at the moment. And so we know Frank McBertine Raffaud, Councillor Frank McBertine Raffaud, has also expressed his concerns as well, I believe. Absolutely. And I spoke to Jerry McMonagall about it as well. He's quite concerned, especially with the, the one on Dr. McGinley Road yeah. at the moment. You know, that that's definitely a 5G, I would imagine. But, like, whether it's 3G, 4G or 5G, Greg, look... The science is there now. The word is out. There's no argument anymore. Mm. This is a cancer-causing antenna. Anyone within 400 metres of this mast yeah. has three times more likely to get cancer. But, Kim, I, I know you say that you can't dispute the science, but just for... You can't. We, you can't. But some do, Kim. You know, they do. No, so, but, some but, do, but and that's, they're that's, industry that's, biased, and that's, that's the point of the... OK, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not contradicting you. I'm just saying that there, some yeah. people do dispute that. Now... Uh, one of the questions well, that's, that's being asked now is how are these things popping up in communities? Under what sort of sections of planning permission? Why is there no uh, why is there no local con consultation? I think any rollout is being uh, the public reputation is being further damaged by the, a lack of consultation. People believe or get this sense that these things are just being parachuted into their communities. Absolutely, separation distances were taken away from the planning in 2012. So we had to have like a separation distance of one kilometre from any residential home. Now the minister at the time for planning, he um, put those, he took away those conditions, and he took away. He actually came out and said health reasons are no longer uh, a reason to stop uh, a mass antenna. This should be on the side of a whole Greek. It should be away from uh, wildlife. It should not be in a residential area. That is the point. German studies have shown, and these are 10-year-old studies, like, they, these are epidemiological studies. They are not, um, the, science, the science is there, like, mm. there's no doubt about it. Okay, um, the protest continues all day, does it? Antenna, that's it. The, the protest continues all day, does it? We are going to be here for as long as it takes, yeah. We are going to um, stop the vans coming in to switch on the antenna. They mm. are private contractors to the OPW. They are not government workers. We're not stopping Garda personnel or anybody who wants to come into the Garda station to work. We're mm. not doing that. We're and in that regard, like, I mean, how determined are you to stop these vans? Are you prepared to, to sit in the road if need be? I uh, would just stand there yeah, and block them. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't being that. dramatic. You know what I mean, Kim? Uh, sorry? I wasn't being dramatic there, but you know what I mean? Like, are you... Yeah, in, no, we're yeah. Gonna, yeah, definitely going to stop them physically, yeah. yeah okay. Because that's all right. Like, we own this building... Uh, we are the people, the people own the building, we own the building, um, the people who work in there are our public servants. They are, 
they are tired, they're afraid to speak up because of their, their jobs, mm. they're all at risk. Like the Reynolds Town Garda Station is a perfect example of an antenna that has harmed a lot of people. Men well, Garda got brain, yeah. brain tumours down there. Those mm. of kids got nosebleeds, which is the first sign, by the way. Yeah. Anybody getting spontaneous nosebleeds, cl- living close to a mass, you've got to be aware. And, and, you're, and you're being radiated. I, I must that. ask you, obviously, there are people who rely on the mobile phone and want a, a, a good 4G signal and 5G yeah. perhaps down the line. And, of course, me and you now are speaking uh, and you do have a mobile phone to your ear, so you are enjoying the, uh-huh. the offices yeah, of, of, of this antenna. What do you say to that? Well, Greg, we are not against technology. We just want it made safer. Ireland has the highest power levels. Uh, most European countries are only 10 microwatts uh, per square centimetre. We are a 1,000. So we are being tested on. We are li- live guinea pigs. We've been tested on. We, we do not need full power in, in our Wi-Fi routers. Routers can be turned down. Houses can be hardwired. Schools should be hardwired. In fact, the school in Dublin was hardwired because a lot of the parents complained about children getting nosebleeds. So, so you're saying that should be a norm? Can be, uh, this technology can be made safe. We can use speakerphone, we can use air tube uh, headphones. Look, the technology is great, we're not against it. We can make it safer. We just want, uh, especially for our children, mm. because their uh, blood brain barriers can be breached in the classrooms. Okay. If Wi Fi on from 9 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it's ridiculous. All right, Kim, it listen. It be on when it's not being used, Greg. Uh, nice to speak to you. Best of luck with your uh, action today. That's Kim McMenamin there, spokesperson for Stop 5G Donegal.